This is Lang Lang performing in the Hall of Mirrors at the Palace of Versailles from his latest album, Lang Lang in Paris, in which he performs Tchaikovsky and Chopin. And he joins us now to discuss. Lang Lang, your new album is out. You play mostly Tchaikovsky and Chopin in Paris, correct? Yes. What could be more romantic than that? What is it about these composers that interest you as a musician? Both are extremely romantic uh, and somehow um, I always love to play the Tchaikovsky seasons because for me, um, I mean, for many audience, you know the Vivaldi, uh, the violin, you know, uh, yeah. that four seasons. But I think the piano version from Tchaikovsky is so beautiful and it's by Mounts. Uh, and uh, I can play a little bit for you. Please, you have a, Please, yeah. would, that would yeah. be lovely. This is on the boat, it's kind of a boat song. Is so lovely. What is going through your mind when you're playing? Um, since this um, is actually um, a beautiful, you know, on the water, you know, we're on the beautiful boat, enjoy the most beautiful summer night. So um, are you visualizing that Absolutely, picture? yes. I kind of oh. smell the water a little bit. So yeah. stunning. Yeah. I mean, I have to say, as a former ballet dancer, Tchaikovsky and Chopin are yes. very dear to my heart. Absolutely. Have you collaborated with dancers in the yes. past? Yes. Yeah. Yes? Last year, <clears throat> we uh, released uh, a DVD, uh, which um, I'm working with the wonderful Houston Ballet, yes. and we did the, everything Chopin, and uh, we did, you know, I mean, it was uh, really beautiful because um, uh, they were uh, looking really beautiful, you yeah. know, and, uh, and so I, I was playing some most beautiful Chopin music, and we had uh, such a uh, wonderful eye contact. And it's very interesting when you play with ballerinas that you also need to follow their in their uh, feet. It's true. Oh, and, it's uh, true. And so it's like between the finger, and then uh, I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> like, so you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, how many hours a day at this point in your career do you practice? Two hours. Two hours. Yeah. Okay, that's totally reasonable. Yeah, and sometimes I like to do a little bit more, okay. uh, but sometimes I cannot even do two hours because I need to fly. You're so busy. Uh, you're traveling yeah. all around the world yeah. every every second day. Every uh, second day, <laughs> yeah. you're yeah. on a you're on a plane. Yeah. Any plans to calm down a little bit in the future? Um, I mean, I I actually calm down a lot in the summertime. You do. Uh, okay. And. Uh, yeah, but in the future, you know, maybe, you know, uh, but in this moment, yes. uh, I still enjoy doing very much. And I hope, you know, this will always the case, because that's why I, I wanted to become a pianist, because I felt I got so inspired mm -hmm. by music. And, uh, you know, music really changed, you know, my lifestyle. Well, you, you know. wrote about that in your mm -hmm. autobiography, growing up in China, mm -hmm. studying piano. You say your father was quite strict with yes. you. Yeah. Do you think that was necessary for you to become the pianist you are? I mean, um, yes and no. I mean, uh, for the positive side is that um, my father really um, helped me um, to to be focused and to be uh, disciplined. And as you know, I mean, you're, you're a ballerina that we all need to practice yes. several hours or certain hours to get what we can 
Uh, as achieve. a child, how many yeah. hours would you practice? Um, when I was uh, five, like four hours, and when I was seven, uh, seven hours. Wow, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah, when I was eight, eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> 15, 15 hours? <laughs> <laughs> that's harder. That's harder, right? Yeah. So do you think, though, what would be your advice for other parents who have children who are very talented? How hard would you tell them to push their children? I mean, in this moment, I you know I, I'm now also into the education. Uh, yes. You know, so I'm trying to find the right way. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, f between different kids, you know, you need to find a different ways uh, individually. You know, and especially if you are serious about playing the piano. Yeah. And some uh, kids may need practice a little bit more, uh, and some kids need to maybe think a little bit more. Right. So it's a depends. So um, it's an individual situation yeah. for each But I would student. say the parents need to always help the kids to keep very fresh minded oh. and heart and also passionate spirit mm -hmm. uh, uh, toward the attitude. Very good yeah. advice. Now so many people loved your performance with Metallica in oh. 2014. <laughs> <laughs> and sort of expose your music to a whole new audience. Would you like to do more of that sort of thing? Yeah, absolutely. We, um, I'm um, uh, shooting a video with uh, Lindsay Sterling uh, in, uh, um, in a week, and I'm quite excited. Um, and uh, yeah, so for me, I'm always excited and looking forward to do something like something new. Like right. this year uh, at Grammy, I did something with. Uh, uh, I actually played uh, Happy uh, with uh, Pharrell William oh, fun. and, and so uh, it fun. was uh, arranged by Hans Zimmer. So you see it's uh, really uh, crossing the, the bridge. But in the end, music is music yes. and uh, good music is good music. That's right. You so know? there are contemporary musicians and composers that interest you then. Absolutely. And yeah. you, you would consider doing more of that in the future? Then. Yeah. Are there any composers that you have not yet played in public that you really want to play? Um, yeah, of course. There, there are some pieces which I always love to play. Like, for example, like the Bach Goldberg variation. I you know, love Goldberg. You know, one day I would like to, to play uh, oh. in public. Yes. Uh, yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. Now I've heard a rumor that your hands are insured for many, many millions of dollars. Is that true? I mean, uh, you know, I, I have an insurance. <laughs> Let's put this way. Right, right, right. No details forthcoming. <laughs> so, what is for yeah, you? Yeah, but only one thing is uh, for a pianist. The leg also quite important because I need to push the pedal. That's true. So yeah, maybe so you need insurance for yeah, the whole that, that's body. The thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there yeah. were dancers that insured their yeah. legs for sure. Yeah. That was the same thing. <laughs> so when you look at the future of of music, do you hope that there might be less of a distinction and a divide between classical music and classical musicians and contemporary, and that it might be a sort of just music? Um, I mean, I hope that's the case mm -hmm. um, because. Um, um, in, in our society, we need to put more efforts to music education in the schools. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, after today's our interview, I'm going to uh, open the school uh, music class in Brooklyn. And and I really believe because you know we, we need to do something for the education. And then and then actually, it's not a bad idea. You know, if uh, people think about pianist, that they think about pianist, not only think about oh, he only plays. Uh, Haydn and Mozart, right. you know, so which is you know which is great classics anyway. But right. I, since we are living in the twenty first century, you know, we also like to be connected you know, to this world. Absolutely. Uh, but in the end, of course, in concert halls, we will do uh, you know ninety nine percent. I would say you know classical music repertoire. But we also need to know how to you know make music today. But it's so yeah. true that, I mean, this is true in dance, I'm sure it's true in music as well, that learning the classical form of the art form is the hardest one in many, in many instances. And that's what we believe. That's what we, <laughs> we classicists believe. Yeah. And then we can feel like we can open it up from yeah. there. So is there another song from your new album you Absolutely. Like to play for us? I will do something uh, in your honor to play uh, Chopin's Garci, number oh. two. Yeah.
Amazing. Thank you so much, Lang Lang. That was absolutely stunning. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. You.